Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. It's our technology unit for the month of May, and today we're talking about something called flying taxis. Flying taxis, indeed. We know what taxis are, and we know what Uber. Is、uh, people who give us rides and stuff like that, but、uh, you know sometimes they're not fast enough, and sometimes there's just too much congestion in the city, and there's rush hour, and we just want to get somewhere fast. So maybe these flying taxis will be a solution to our problems. Uh, maybe, but not not in the near future. It's going to take a while for them to get、uh, a new system in place. You know, when you have a new type of transportation, it always takes a little while to catch on. I'm not sure I'd want to go up in the air in a in a car. One of these EV talls we're going to talk about.、Uh, it sounds kind of scary. Are you game to try this, Tom? Would you try it? Uh, well, no, probably not. But、uh, you never know; they might become quite common, and it might be a really easy way to get around the city.、Uh, but、uh, yeah, right now I'm, you know, considering what happened to Kobe Bryant, you know,、yeah. and his daughter.、Uh, I don't really trust those、uh, things flying up in the air. I think I'd rather stay on the ground. Although I guess there are still a lot of traffic accidents as well. So you never know. But we are going to be talking about flying taxis in today's lesson. Are they ever going to get off the ground? We'll find out in just a second. So let's read through the entire contents of our lesson now one time. Mega City Taipei 2120. John Chen gets up and checks his smart contact lenses for messages. He has a meeting, so he calls a flying taxi to whisk him downtown. Later. Another aerial vehicle soars over the city to return him to his eye house. Sadly, this is just an imaginary scenario. Flying taxis aren't going to be available anytime soon, or are they? Hundreds of companies are working on plans for electric vertical takeoff and landing EV tall aircraft. They don't look like cars at all. They're more like helicopters. This means they don't need a runway to take off or land. So what's holding things back? For starters, there's the power issue. Right now, batteries only permit flights of around 35 kilometers. Lilium, a German company, added wings to its EV tall model to boost its range. But until we can make batteries that are both powerful and light, these aircraft will be limited to short flights. What's more. They'll need facilities where they can recharge. Getting an operational EV tall aircraft involves more than just building one that can fly. Cities will need to build spaces for the aircraft to take off and land. Moreover, monitoring air traffic consisting of hundreds of aircraft will be no easy task. Without proper supervision, aircraft could crash into buildings or each other. Getting a safe system in place, not to mention thoroughly testing the aircraft, will take substantial amounts of time and money. Two factors guaranteed to delay any project. Of course, similar problems once faced airplanes, and now air travel is commonplace. No matter what the challenges are, people will persevere to eventually make the dream of commuting by flying taxi come true. Okay, guys, let's get started. This is our technology unit, and we're talking about flying taxis、uh, that aren't currently in business, but、uh, they're sure working on them. And someday we will have. It sounds like these flying taxis available. I can't imagine because you know even driving、uh, on the road gets kind of crazy when you have a big city like Taipei. There's just too much traffic. What's it going to be like if we have to be fighting people in the air too? The one thing that I always think about, Tom, is that. If I crash on the ground, I think I have a better chance of surviving than crashing from the air, where you come down at such a, a high、mm. rate of speed and just you know your body would just、True. be torn apart. So that that's something I always think about. I've had friends invite me to take helicopter rides when I was in New York. You see a lot of helicopters. You know, busy people usually have a helicopter so they can go from meeting to meeting. But there are so many accidents. Uh, with helicopters, that、um, I just you know I've up to now I've said no thanks. Especially if you go on vacation like Hawaii 
or the Grand Canyon, where I'm from. Arizona is my state. There are a lot of helicopters that want to take tourists to see what it looks like from up above. Yep, you hear、uh, about、uh, crashes every once in a while. I'm sure helicopter pilots say that, oh, it's perfectly safe. You just hear about this once in a while.、Mm. But basically, your chances of dying in a helicopter crash are much lower than, say, a motorcycle、mm. accident、That's、or something、true. like that. That's probably true. But in any case, here,、uh, eventually people are going to say, well, it's worth the risk.、Mm. I'm in a hurry. I'm a busy businessman. I'm important. I need to get、uh, to a meeting. So indeed, I need to have a flying. Taxi. I think、uh, most rich people will probably prefer a private car, a private flying car, so they don't have to deal with taxis. But、uh, you know, there's not that much space in the sky, so we'll probably have to share those taxis. And will they ever get off the ground? This phrase here, to get off the ground, just means to get started. It could literally mean to take off,、yeah. like an airplane gets off the ground. But here, just means. Will this idea catch on? Will it become popular? Will it become commonplace? Yeah, you could say, "Oh, wow, we've worked on the plans for this project for so long. Why can't we get it off the ground?" Which, just as Tom said, means to start something. So, Mega City Taipei. This is what we're describing、uh, Taipei as looking like in the year twenty. One twenty, twenty one twenty. Wow, a、uh, hundred years from now, mega added to something just means really big. So a mega city is a really large city metropolis.、Um, it's a big area. I think Taipei counts because we've got all of these little districts around the sides that we call New Taipei City. You know, like、mm. Sanchong and.、Uh, Where else? Zhongho, Yongzhou, yeah. Lujou, yeah. Lugu, Danshui, etc. It spreads out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd probably all put this together into one city, including Sichu、mm. and Jilong or something.、Yeah. So we've got a really big city in the future, 100 years in the future. And John Chen, he's an important businessman, and he gets up, he wakes up, gets out of bed, and then he doesn't check his smartphone. We've、uh, at this time integrated smartphones into our content. Contact lenses, so we just look.、Uh, we just look into our lenses there, and we look for messages. I guess we kind of move our eyes to sort of、uh, swipe the screen or something like that. And he does have a meeting, and、uh, he needs to be at that meeting, so he calls a flying taxi to whisk him downtown. Maybe he lives in a residential area, say Dodger or something like、mm-hmm. that, and he needs to be downtown in the business district. And whisk here just means to hurry, especially if something's carrying you someplace.、Uh, the taxi whisked me to work,、mm-hmm. uh, and I got there ten minutes early. A whisk is also a noun, guys. Although it's a verb here, the noun is a, a tool or utensil we use when we cook. You could beat eggs with a whisk, and we'd actually use the verb. I'm going to whisk my eggs. Or if you've ever made a cream or frosting,、uh, you'll often just use a whisk and use your your muscle power from your arm rather than a beater, which is、um, actually a machine. But yeah, he's going to、uh, call the taxi that will whisk him downtown. Later, another aerial vehicle soars over the city to return him to his eye house. Oh, so、uh, his house is also turned into some sort of electric、uh, miracle. I'm going to say, aerial here just means in the air. So,、um, aerial splits is something that you would see gymnasts do. They would. Flip in the air and come down. If you're into gymnastics, vehicle is a type of、uh, transportation. It could be a car or a truck.、Uh, it could be a lot of different things. But this one is definitely going to be in the air because we've got an aerial vehicle, and he uses different taxis: one to take him there, one to bring him home to his. I house, which is really cute. <laughs> yeah, these could be self-drive air taxis at that time. They're kind of working、yeah. on that now. Self-drive cars, where you don't actually own your own car, it comes and gets you, and then another one takes you home, etc. That's what they're sort of thinking will happen, and this could happen with these aerial vehicles or these flying taxis. Now, sadly, this is just an imaginary scenario. You could say scenario. Both the pronunciations are correct, but What does this word mean? Scenario. Well, it means kind of a situation that you are imagining, or it could be actually real, but it is basically a situation. So this situation, which is imaginary,、um, won't exist for quite some time because the technology is kind of new. 
Yeah, so flying taxis aren't going to be available anytime soon. It's going to take a while to work out all the bugs, work out all the kinks.、Uh, those two phrases just means you've got some,、uh, you know, some problems and something you're working on. It's got some flaws, and you need to perfect it. So it's going to take a little while.、Um, but here, the next sentence. Makes you wonder, or are they? Maybe they're just around the corner. Could be. I didn't know that hundreds of companies、uh, were currently working on things,、um, but we've got this next sentence, which our writer tells us: hundreds of companies are working on plans for electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. So, if you wondered what that、um, acronym there, EVTOL, stood for, now you know: electric is your E, vertical is your V, takeoff is T and O. And then landing is that L. So that's what they're calling these types of vehicles, EVTOL aircraft. Or I'm going to take an EVTOL today, and、uh, that's how I'll get home from work as well. They'll probably just call it an air taxi or something. But in any case, here this is the term now.、Uh, vertical just means up and down, but、uh, the word for left and right is horizontal. Okay,、mm. so horizontal and vertical. So this particular vehicle can go up and down, and then it can move through the air and take you to your very important business meeting. Or who knows if you're late for school or something, it could whisk you there、yeah. rather quickly. I did want to say that the word whisk does sound like that whisk. Yeah, it does. It does refer to a quick movement there. So again, these are aerial vehicles that、uh, go straight up in the air and then move horizontally to your destination, and then come straight down out of the air into a landing area. And you can imagine how these things are going to、uh, be used in the future. But to right now, we've come to the halfway point in today's lesson. Let's take a break now and listen to our Chinese teacher. Hello, my name is Shelby. 空中计程车即将实现吗？标题的地方 ，Get off the ground， 造字面，这是一个离开地面，但是它是表示启动或开始，搭配主词 fly in taxis， 形成很棒的双关语。第一段。他描述在二一二零年，一个人出门返家都搭乘飞行器，咻的一下子的来回。接着第二段空格一后面句子说，空中计程车不是马上可以上路 ，available 可获得的、可用的。这个空格呢是承接上一段，表示呢这里应该是要评论上一段空中通勤的情形。我们看选项 B。Sadly, 这只不过是一个 imaginary 想象的 scenario 情景设想。Sadly 可呼应下一句，表达无法上路的遗憾。所以第一题答案选 B。数百家公司计划垂直升降飞行器 EVTOL。这些东西呢，看起来不像车子，反而比较像 helicopter 直升机。空格二，接着 ，So what's holding things back? Hold back 是因为恐惧等退缩不做，那到底是什么阻碍事情的发展呢？这一句呢有提出疑问，语气转折，暗示空格二应该与上一句的内容关联比较大，而上一句提到他们比较像直升机。选项 F。This means, 这也就是说，他们不需要一个 runway 跑道来起降。这句话刚好可以呼应上一句提到的直升机，它的特色就是不需要跑道。所以这题答案选 F. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. It's our technology unit, and we're talking about flying taxis and kind of the state this whole、um, area of technology is in. They're not quite ready, you know, but they're working on them. Actually, a lot of companies are working on them. I was surprised to learn that reading this particular article. So we've given you the scenario.、Uh, it's Mega City Taipei. I forgot to mention Mega City. 
is only used if the population's over ten million. Okay,、uh, we're we're getting there. I think we're at least eight, aren't we? Well,、uh, maybe,、Taipei. but you know, the、uh, population in Taiwan is under control, so you know, maybe it won't get that big in the future. Who knows? But、uh, more and more people move up to Taipei、yeah. from the center and south. So yeah, probably eventually it will be over ten million people here. Well, we're、uh, looking into the future. This supposedly is a hundred years from now, and our guy gets up in the morning. And his smart contact lenses, which it looks like he didn't have to take out to go to sleep with, you know. Usually,、uh, people don't like to sleep in their contact lenses.、Uh, it's uncomfortable. My mom would always take hers out because it hurt her eyes. But his、um, are ready and working for him in the morning. That's how he checks for messages. I wouldn't want my messages right in my face.、Mm. I want to choose when I have to look at messages, but、uh, I guess that's life in the future. He has a meeting and he calls a flying taxi that whisks him downtown. And then when he wants to go back home, he calls another air taxi. We're calling it an aerial vehicle, and that returns him to his house. So this is just the scenario that we've cooked up for you, like we usually do in these articles.、Um, but we do have a lot of Companies working on what they're calling eVTOL aircraft, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Now, when you think of a taxi, of course, we've got sort of the long rectangular shape with four wheels.、Mm. But、uh, these are aircraft, so they don't look like cars at all. They're more like helicopters.、Uh, you can go online or look at our magazine and see what they probably look like. They actually、mm. are kind of cool, and this means they don't need a runway to take off or land like airplanes. Of course, as you know, helicopters can basically take off and land. And、from any place, as long、mm. as it's wide enough, as long as the ground is hard enough. So, what's holding these things back?、Uh, here we've got the phrase to hold back,、mm. which means to restrain something to stop them from moving forward. So, it looks like a simple idea. All we got to do is build these things, and we can have air taxis. So, what's the delay? Why are they being held back? Yeah, another way we use this is sometimes kids need some more time in a particular grade. They didn't do as well. Say someone is in second grade and had a hard time. Maybe he was coming from another country, and so he was trying to learn the new language plus learn what his teachers wanted him to learn. Sometimes、uh, we'll hold kids back, and they'll take that same grade again the next year. Yeah, he was held back in second grade, or he was held back in fifth grade.、Uh, that. Sometimes happens, especially if kids are born in December, and the rest of the kids, you know, are pretty—they're almost a year older than he is because some were born in January that year. So in America, at least, they'll hold that kid back and have him start、uh, first grade a little later. So moving on to the next paragraph, for starters, there's the power issue. So what are the problems they're having? Power is a pretty big problem if you have a power issue. Right now, batteries only permit or allow flights of around 35 kilometers. That's not very far,、mm. um, but that's a problem also with electric cars、uh, or electric scooters. You can only get so much power currently out of that battery. What is the German company doing, though, Tom? This German company is called Lilium, and they've added wings to its eVTOL model、mm. to boost its range. Boost here just means to increase or lengthen its range, so it's got wings there, so it can fly farther and use less energy. But until we can make batteries that are both powerful and light. These aircraft will be limited to short flights. We do have this problem with batteries; they are heavy, and you can't really charge them very much. They don't last that long. If you ride、uh, one of those electric scooters, the Gogoros, you know,、yeah. you know, they have a limited range. They don't go as far. As gasoline-powered scooters、mm. do, you have to change those batteries quite often, and this is the case with these eVTOL aircraft. They just can't go that far, so we need to work on the batteries and make them more powerful and lighter. And then they won't be limited to these short flights; they can have longer flights. Yeah,、um, I wonder if they call any of the drones that are out there today. Are those 
E V tolls. I guess nobody could、mm. really ride in them because、uh, yeah, they're so tiny. No, it's new technology. Yeah, we're learning things.、It's、all going the time. really fast, isn't it? Craziness. Sure,、yep. So,、uh, this company at least has thought about adding wings. Look up pictures.、Um, you'll see what some of the different E V tolls look like.、Um, what's more, it says they'll need facilities where they can recharge. A facility is just a place or even equipment that you need to do something. Typically, we'll use it for talking about a resort. Ooh, what facilities do they have? Well, they have a golf course, they have a spa, they have a workout room, things like that. So, yeah, they'll need a place they can recharge at. So, getting an operational eVTOL aircraft involves more than just building one that can fly. Yeah, that's just the the vehicle itself. But you need a system around that. For example, planes need runways, right? And cars need parking lots. So, what does an eVTOL aircraft need? Cities will need to build. Spaces for the aircraft to take off and land. Moreover, monitoring aircraft consisting of hundreds of aircraft will be no easy task. Or monitoring air traffic, we've got guys and and gals that monitor airplanes in the air. Right?、Mm -hmm. We're going to need some more people, though, if we've got flying taxis in the air to keep track of as well. And they're probably very noisy, so people will say, "Hey, you can't have a landing pad next to my apartment building." Sorry. You just can't do it.、Oh, yeah. So people might complain about that. So yeah, there's going to be a problem finding spaces for those areas to take off and land, and then monitoring will involve some new infrastructure. They're、mm -hmm. going to have to have a system put in place, and without proper supervision, aircraft could crash into buildings. Or each other. Yes,、yeah. we need to have everything worked out. Where these things can fly, at what elevation, and when, and stuff like that. They probably need to be controlled by some computer system or something like that, which could be hacked by people. You never know. So they'd have to work out all the problems here, and getting a safe system in place. Not to mention thoroughly testing the aircraft will take substantial amounts of time and money.、Yeah. So it's going to be quite some time before this thing is a reality. So if you guarantee something, guys, you say that you are saying for sure something's going to do what you said it would do. Typically, when we buy big item ticket, big ticket items, that that's what we call these things like refrigerators and、uh, dishwashers and cars. Even is a big ticket item. If you buy those, they usually offer a guarantee with them. They might guarantee that your dishwasher will not break down for a year, or your、uh, refrigerator will last ten. Years, I don't. I doubt there's a guarantee for ten years. Sorry, that's a long time. Yeah, yeah, I'd love that. My refrigerator is already breaking down. So guarantee means you promise that something will happen. You can guarantee somebody.、Um, it's just another word for promise. Sometimes I guarantee I won't be late tomorrow. I'll be here, and that's not you know a formal promise. It's more casual. But if you're dealing with、um, a product, they usually offer some sort of guarantee. Guarantee here is being used as a verb, so these are two factors that guarantee delaying these projects.、Mm -hmm. These two factors again are, of course, investing all that money, testing the aircraft, getting a safe system in place. All those things will slow this down. Of course, similar problems once faced airplanes, and now air travel is commonplace. So yes, this is not the first time we faced these problems. When airplanes started to become popular in the early 20th century,、sure. there were problems then, but eventually they worked them out through legislation and debates and trial and error. So, yeah, no matter what the challenges are, people will persevere to eventually make the dream of commuting by flying taxi come true. So, if you persevere, you continue moving forward, even though there are things that are trying to stop you. You need to persevere in the face. Of danger. Yeah, look at that word. You see, part of it actually spells out severe, which means really, really bad. Really, you know, at a high level. So,、uh, look at that and remember, it just means you're going forward, even though you're、um, facing a lot of challenges, a lot of difficulty. You're not going to give up. You're going to persevere to eventually make the dream of commuting by taxi or flying taxi come true. Commuting, guys, refers only to going from your house to your business and back home. It doesn't mean going from your house to a mall or your house to your favorite friends.、Uh, no, it's 
going from your house to your job. What's your commute time? People often ask this in California, New York. What's your commute time? Oh, it takes me about forty-five minutes on the train, or I drive for an hour and a half. People that live in Taipei and go out to、uh, uh, Xinzhou, boy, they have a commute. Or Taoyuan, they have a commute、mm. uh, that's pretty long too. So remember, to commute means going from your house to your job. Or back. And commute here again is being used as a verb, but it could also be used as a noun. Okay, that brings us to the end of our explanation for today. It's time now to listen to our Chinese teacher. 第三段跟第四段要表明遇到的问题。第一句的地方 ，for starters， 这是非正式的用法，表示首先、第一，相当于 first of all 或者 to begin with。有存在一些电力问题，有一家德国公司甚至要增加翅膀到它的 e v e t o 来 boost 推动举高它的飞行范围。空格三，第三个空格前面提到电池问题，所以推测这题应该要跟电池续航等问题有关联。选项 A， 但是直到我们能让 batteries 电池变得 powerful 强大而且 light 轻盈，这些飞行器呢会被受限在短程的飞行。Limit 是限制，经常用被动形态表示被局限在哪里。To 介系词后面加名词表示受限的地方，可见电池问题要先改善，否则是无法进行的。这题答案就选 A。在第四段会遇到更多问题，例如像飞行空间、管制系统等等。我们来看一下第四段第三句，中间有一个分词构句 ，consisting of。consist of 动词便于包含、组成的意思。它的用法呢是整体加 consist of 再加部分。注意，它这个 consist of 不可以用被动来表达，而它也可以用 contain、comprise 或者是 include 等几个字来表达包含、组成的意思。接着后面又说 ，will be no easy task。no 后面直接加名词 task， 表示绝不是，所以应用到其他方面，比如说 no coward 就表示绝对不是懦夫。Monitoring 监视这些由数百个飞行器所组成的空中交通，一点都不是简单的事情。空格四，接着说，让这个安全的系统 in place 就定位，井然有序，更别提完全要测试这些飞行器，将会用掉大量的时间和金钱。这两个因素啊，必然会延迟这个计划。空格四的上下句都是讨论关于建立空中交通安全，所以这一句呢，应该也是讨论这个主题。选项 D， 没有适当的 supervision 监督，飞行器会撞上建筑物或者彼此之间。这句话会担心飞行器互撞，所以连到下一句说要建立安全系统，但又会花大钱，语义是连贯，所以我们答案选 D。第五题，空格。接着说，不论是挑战什么，人们会 persevere 不屈不挠或者坚持。它后面可以加 in 或 with 加事情，表示在什么事情上坚持下去，最后会让空中通勤的梦想成真。那最后一段是要表示要做结论了，而上面却提到种种的困难。选项 C， 当然喽，相同的问题，这些飞机也曾经面对过。好，注意一下它的动词 face 是用过去式。And now, 而现在呢，空中旅行已经是非常普遍的了。这句刚好承接文章的下一句，人们会坚持理想。作者以飞机为例，暗示空中计程车也会指日可待。所以答案选 C。以上是今天的讲解，谢谢收听。Okay, that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for joining us, and please join us again next time. And who knows, maybe someday air taxis will be commonplace. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.